Wegner's granulomatosis, granulomatosis with polyangiitis, is a rare autoimmune disorder affecting blood vessels. Our video explores pathogenesis, clinical presentation, diagnosis, management, and complications, aiming to equip medical students with comprehensive knowledge for effective patient care. We will explore the complex pathogenesis of Wegner's granulomatosis, an autoimmune disorder. Genetic and environmental factors trigger an abnormal immune response, leading to the production of autoantibodies. These antibodies target neutrophils, causing inflammation and tissue damage. Immune dysregulation is central to the disease development. Onca, particularly the proteinase 3, PR3 Onca subtype, plays a vital role in the diagnosis, monitoring, and treatment of Wegner's granulomatosis. These autoantibodies are found in the majority of patients and are highly specific for the disease. Detection of ONCA in the serum using specific laboratory assays is a crucial diagnostic tool. Monitoring ONCA levels over time can aid in assessing disease activity and response to treatment. Treatment strategies often revolve around immunosuppressive agents, which aim to reduce ONCA production and subsequent inflammation. Recognizing the clinical presentation of Wegner's granulomatosis is essential for early intervention. Patients commonly present with a triad of symptoms involving the upper and lower respiratory tract, as well as renal involvement. The classic manifestations include persistent sinusitis, rhinorrhea with bloody discharge, otitis media, cough, dyspnea, hemoptysis, and hematuria. However, it is crucial to differentiate Wegner's granulomatosis from other similar conditions, such as allergic rhinitis, bronchial asthma, pneumonia, and other vasculitides that affect the respiratory and renal systems. Histopathological examination of affected tissues, such as the respiratory mucosa, renal biopsies, and other involved organs, can provide definitive evidence of Wegner's granulomatosis. Biopsy samples often reveal necrotizing granulomatous inflammation with a paucity of immune complexes. The characteristic features include the presence of necrotizing vasculitis, granulomatous inflammation, and multinucleated giant cells. These findings further support the diagnosis of Wegner's granulomatosis and help distinguish it from other similar conditions. Imaging techniques like CT and MRI are important for diagnosing and monitoring Wegner's granulomatosis. They help assess respiratory and CNS involvement, revealing pulmonary nodules, cavities, sinus mucosa thickening, and CNS damage. These modalities provide insights into disease progression and treatment response. Renal involvement in Wegner's granulomatosis can lead to severe complications, including rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis and renal failure. Prompt recognition and management are crucial to preserve renal function. Treatment approaches often involve a combination of immunosuppressive agents, such as glucocorticoids and cyclophosphamide, to reduce inflammation and prevent further damage. Additionally, supportive measures, including blood pressure control and the use of judicious renal replacement therapy when indicated, are essential for renal management. Respiratory manifestations in Wegner's granulomatosis are diverse and can range from mild symptoms, such as cough and dyspnea, to more severe presentations, including pulmonary nodules, cavities, and hemoptysis. Treatment strategies primarily focus on reducing inflammation and halting disease progression. Immunosuppressive agents, such as glucocorticoids and immunomodulatory drugs, are commonly employed. Pulmonary rehabilitation and supportive measures, including oxygen therapy and prevention of secondary infections, play an integral role in improving respiratory function and quality of life. Wegner's granulomatosis can affect various ocular structures and lead to significant visual impairment if left untreated. Ocular involvement may include conjunctivitis, episcleritis, uveitis, scleritis, or orbital inflammation. Prompt recognition and treatment are crucial to prevent irreversible damage and preserve vision. Immunosuppressive agents, local eye drops, and close collaboration with ophthalmologists are essential in managing ocular manifestations effectively. Central nervous system, CNS, involvement in Wegner's granulomatosis is an uncommon but severe complication. Neurological manifestations may include cranial nerve palsies, seizures, meningitis, or cerebral vasculitis. Prompt recognition and early treatment are vital to prevent permanent neurological deficits. Immunomodulatory agents, such as high-dose glucocorticoids and cyclophosphamide, are commonly employed. Long-term follow-up and close monitoring of CNS involvement are essential to detect and manage potential relapses. The management of Wegner's granulomatosis often involves a multidisciplinary approach, including rheumatologists, nephrologists, pulmonologists, and other specialists. Immunosuppressive therapy plays a central role in controlling disease activity and preventing organ damage. Glucocorticoids, such as prednisone, are commonly used as initial therapy. However, due to their potential side effects and the need for long-term maintenance therapy, 
other immunosuppressive agents, including cyclophosphamide, azathioprine, mycophenolate mefetal, or rituximab, may be considered. The selection of medications is guided by disease severity, organ involvement, and individual patient factors. Despite effective treatment, Wegner's granulomatosis can be associated with long-term complications and relapses. Some potential sequelae include chronic kidney disease, lung fibrosis, hearing loss, and secondary infections. Regular follow-up visits, including clinical assessments, laboratory tests, and imaging studies, are essential to monitor disease activity, assess treatment response, and detect any early signs of relapse. Long-term management strategies focus on optimizing immunosuppressive therapy, managing comorbidities, and providing appropriate supportive care. Predicting the prognosis and monitoring disease outcome in Wegner's granulomatosis can be challenging due to the heterogeneous nature of the disease. Various factors influence the overall prognosis, including age at diagnosis, multiple affected organs, the severity of renal involvement, and compliance with immunosuppressive therapy. Monitoring disease activity through regular assessments of organ function, onco levels, and imaging studies can provide insights into disease progression and treatment response, helping clinicians tailor management plans to individual patients. In Wegner's granulomatosis, an autoimmune disorder, the immune system responds abnormally, causing inflammation and blood vessel damage. Diagnosis requires a comprehensive evaluation, and treatment involves immunosuppressive drugs. Regular follow-up is necessary to manage complications. Understanding the disease helps provide optimal care.